you're about to see is real. All video and audio was captured at an actual paranormal investigation. Nothing has been manufactured or staged. Previously on Local Haunts, Steve and Pamela investigated the landmark clock store, Sandmark House. They captured EVPs and impressive photo evidence of the spirits that dwell in the two-story building. What more will they find as they explore this local haunt? Hello and welcome to Local Haunts. I'm your host, Steve Christian. Joining me as usual is my co-host, spiritual medium, Pamela Teresa. And on cameras are Kevin Remington and Savannah Huffingham. Also joining us from San Mark House is Connie Allen. And the investigation continues right now. this season of Local Haunts, we're trying something new. Since so many of you want to tag along with us on investigations, we thought we would make the show more immersive. It's simply not possible to accommodate everyone that wants to come along with us on an investigation. So we decided to make the show more raw. What you're about to see is the closest thing to being there. This is like Local Haunts Unplugged. No filtering of EVPs, just raw footage and raw EVPs. We will let you listen to them as we capture them and hear them. That way you can decipher what you can yourself from what the EVPs are saying. You might even pick up some yourself that we don't mention. It's Local Haunts Raw. San Mark House, Tony's room, five EVP. So do we have the whole herder down here listed all five Oh no, we're spaced out. Oh, they, they didn't follow us down? Well, yes, but we're spaced out. They spaced themselves out in this space. Uh-huh. They have their territory they hang out in? Um, yeah, we have, it's very familiar for them, so we, we have um, ones that have been here for a while, just because it's a comforting space, it's um, peaceful, it's calming. And for the most the part they go, space is helpful. and for the most part they go undetected. <laughs> so. well, yeah, because <coughs> we've never had one inkling other than, you know, I said the stuff being moved, but but for them, this is home for now until they make their transition, which is, is all going to be in divine order. But it's kind of like a protection for them when they're in a space like this. Aww. That's sweet. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's why I never say ghosts, because that's not real. They're earthbound like we are, just not fully finished with the physical experience yet. Once they come to the awareness, then they'll make their tran transition. Uh, right leg guy's going. <laughs> Is he transitioning? Yeah. Wow. So, so it makes help. Just the conversation that we're having brings them to the awareness of like, oh crap, I'm, I'm so dead. So this is not a dream, okay? It, this is, okay. Same. In some yeah. cases, they don't even know they're dead. You know? Yeah. I have heard of that too. Yeah. In some cases, they're very much aware of it. Like the boss probably, I have a feeling he knows he's, he's deceased and he's cool with being in charge, you know? Yeah. Do you know who he is? We'll get to that. Oh. We'll get to that. Okay, let's, uh... Sam Workhouse, Tony's room. Why? Well, we've never had one inkling other than, you know, I said the stuff being moved, but... But for them, this is home. For now, until they make their transition. Which is all going to be in divine order. But it's kind of like... Until they make their transition. It's all going to be in divine order. But it's kind of like down protection. 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 Order. Yeah, a little bit before it. A little bit more further so she can. Right now, until they make their transition. Which is all going to be in divine order. But it's kind of like down protection for them. So you can hear it. Oh. Female. 
Up on local yeah. hearts. You're gonna sweep your hand through and you'll feel warm through. Right here. Pull out. Oh, you have four now. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some others will take its place. <laughs> well, they no. will. No, but you come out transient, come and go, you know. Hmm. Like I said, somebody can come in with a, a customer. If people have tag alarms all the time, they don't even know it, you know. We've heard some uh, crazy stories. Um, that they're really not crazy, but when we have people bring in their stuff for repairs, yeah. uh, you hear all kinds of yeah. reasons of why it stopped. Uh, one person told me they had a grandfather clock that would stop if there was, I guess, tension or something, yeah. unease in the family, yeah. and then suddenly start back up again. There was another lady who had, uh, her son had a friend that passed away, but he had given her this crystal statue type thing that had a clock in it, very simple, just a battery operator. She says, when he died, it had stopped, and we had replaced the movement in it. Right. She said, and it wasn't that old, just no. kind of a coincidence. So um, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's somebody who's earthbound. Also, especially with a family where there was tension and such like that, the clock stopping, that's a loved one trying to capture the attention of the family of, hey, we come on. Attention. <laughs> yes, you, you need to. So uh, that's a definitely a signature mark of somebody who's having me because they want order uh, and they're trying to help the family. So it's not necessarily going to be <laughs> Earthbound. Uh, so it's a combination of, of many different reasons why. And also, too, space will have energy imprints. So if you have an antique, it could have uh, the energy associated with it of all of the time connected to time. <laughs> connected to that clock. Um, this is a very relaxed room of thought. Very interesting. Yeah, only only Tony is back here, other than when I'm coming back and forth or Miss Chase uh -huh. getting the customer clocks and uh -huh. watches. And stuff. Almost kind of meditative. So you said you want to take some photo capture? Yes, let's try room. to get some photo. This room is um, my room. Oh. I make the door chimes and little babies. That's what you're seeing Sweet. all along the wall. Yeah, there are products, and we do sell them all over the U.S. That is fantastic. And Mark House back in, what is this? Really in this is this a store room? It's a workshop room for me. How we do this, Connie, is we only just, it's going to be really hard to get capture there. Um, okay, so because of the metal bouncing? Yeah. Well, it's just a, such a bright background. There's a lot of little okay. boxes and okay. stuff. Well, yeah. that, let's find a, a more muted background. Because even though they're there, I know that won't be it. Yeah, this room's kind of <laughs> has a lot of metal and light. Yeah. So I guess upstairs is our best bet because anyway, that's where you saw. So sorry, people. I saw. Yes, I'll show you. Yeah. Are you proud of people? Going 
going upstairs. Yeah, I that's feel free to follow us. Joy. Maybe there's just a space right in here that's not so reflective. Okay. Just right through here. And it works so cool. That may work. With that reflection look? Mm -hmm. um, here? What we were doing was looking for a suitable background to do some deliberate spirit capture on camera. We needed to find a place that was neutral and void of reflective surfaces so that we could eliminate photo anomalies like lens flare. And then I would take a lot of pictures from the exact same angle. That way if we caught something unusual, it wouldn't be something that was in all of the pictures, like lens flare would be. Okay. Um, the secret of doing this is basically you don't just take a picture. You take a bunch of pictures from the exact same angle, same lighting, and nothing changes. And that way when you get something like a shaft of light or um, a ball of light or a full body apparition would be great, then <laughs> you know it's it's um, not just a, a lens flare. This camera takes a picture about once a second. As a capture so far. So far, nothing. Yeah. Let me step back just a little bit, Kevin. Okay. Come on, oh. Come on, get in there with her. Can you show yourself for the camera, please? It's your big moment of fame. This is going on TV. We started to catch spirit on camera. Here you see a shaft of light next to Pamela's head with what appears to be a face in the middle of it. But we were just getting started. Coming up on Local so, Haunts. You're gonna sweep your hand through and you'll feel warm right here. Hello? Was that across her face? Uh, it was across her chest. Yeah, I went closer to her. Did you see it on your camera? Yeah, I'm not sure if it's your flash kind of doing the initial burst, but I saw something on her, be her left cheek area. Let's keep going. Now shift the energies in the area of allowing rather than, okay, forcing. Although I'm worried about that back behind me, but if you can get a little further distance from me. We got them here. We should be able to capture them. They're freaking everywhere. Right here. Okay. There's no way you're not going to be able to capture this one. You want to come validate? Connie, it's your turn to learn how to feel those in the spirit world. Mm -hmm. Come on, Okay. 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 Okay.
Ooh. Pull out. So pull out. So you want to be able to, so you'll feel the vibrational current of right here. There's energy everywhere. But when you sweep your way through him, you'll feel him solid right here. So sweep in like this. Oh, nice. Bam. Right there. Now pull out. He's right here. You should feel like the warmth, the tingly. A lot of people feel the tingly. So if you stay inside of him, you won't lose his, his how feeling him, okay? So go ahead. This is amazing validation of the presence of spirit. Pamela told us there was an earthbound spirit standing right here. Both she and Connie could physically feel his presence, and the camera caught this image exactly where he was supposed to be. This is a deliberate capture with the cooperation of spirit. Okay, so if you go like that, you'll feel where there should not be warmth right here. Go to that. See there? And go that way. See, there's now feel denser right here. You feel that? Yeah, it's him. I got his permission. I didn't just do it without his permission. So now that you've linked the spirit, it cannot hurt you. There's much more protection around those around the earth ground realms because it's guarded by. Bag the big bigs, you know, and helping the lost souls. So, um, oh, now it's a light not flashing, and if your, your eyes and such aren't going the jiggity, now feel. Use your sense of feel right there. Pull out. If you stand in, it's like you're being tempered in, and then you'll be familiar with this energy. Right there. Oh, wow. Right where your hand is. Oh, my word. And then show Kevin. Wow. See, not there. Right there where their, their hands are. There's that's a good shot. Of. That is spirit. Yes. Coming up on Local Haunts. We're going to come in here with the, uh, the boss. And we don't mean the one that pays you. Uh huh. It's almost midnight. Is that? Oh my god. It's 12 o'clock somewhere. <laughs> it's so beautiful in here. I love the sound. That's fine. They're not bothering us. We're going to come in here with the, uh, the boss. And we don't mean the one that pays you. Uh -huh. One major claim of activity in San Mark House is that things get moved or misplaced. Often the employees of the shop blame each other. But Pamela came through with information from those that dwell in spirit in the store that they are the ones responsible, particularly the one they call the boss. And he typically hangs out in the main office with the store owner, and she thought she was the boss. Right here, of course, there's going to be a reflection problem. Um, where you know that nobody's been sitting here, it should not have body heat for the last several hours. You can feel him, and yes, it's a him. Pull back out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, that would be him. Let's I wonder how many times your boss sits in this boss and doesn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> but he slips out because two people cannot end spirit and nothing can show the same space. So there's not, she's not being, there's no possession or anything like that. It's just a different realm. Uh, so I wonder if this would reflect, uh, hello. Um, <laughs> it might, but I could try. Give it a shot. Yeah, <laughs> pun intended. <laughs> Now you need to quit hiding things. <laughs> That's just mean. For some reason, it's all dark and out of focus. There we go. Yeah. Is it reflecting? Oh, there it goes again. Out of focus? Out well, of focus we have a here. lot of energy in here. A yeah, lot okay. of imprints on, on, on clocks. We have a lot of energy in here. Any anomalies? Uh, be patient. <laughs> I was like patting them on the head. Hello. <laughs> so, is there anything in particular you like moving? 
it's more in the way of it just adds personality to his life. Um, uh, those are the words that he said. Adds personality. I like that. Yeah. So. I'd be right there with you, dude. I'd be moving all kinds of stuff. Well, because he's kind of a bully, oh, knowing well. that she misplaces stuff anyway, so he follows up and makes it even more. <laughs> uh, he just is like the boss. Uh, but I am name? hearing a Frank. Frank? Okay, Frank. <laughs> That's what his name is. Next time something goes missing or misplaced, I'll say Frank, put it back. Uh -huh. Frank, go. put it back. Hopefully he'll transition, though. In all, our investigation of San Mark House resulted in some pretty impressive evidence. I saw a shadow watching us, which started away when it knew I saw him. We caught some impressive EVPs and some pretty amazing photo captures with the cooperation of the earthbound spirits that dwell in this local haunt. If you or somebody you know would like to book Pamela for a private or group read, contact her at mediumintheraw.com or call 904-238-4359 and reconnect to lost loved ones.